Hey guys, RC Flower One here. Um, for those of you who are who have requested requ requested for me to show you how to make a space cruiser, I'm gonna make the Nukamura lock um later. But this space cruiser is a really good glider for indoors uh, because it flies in circles. But you can also do it outdoors. Um, just uh, keep in mind that your plane might get stuck on top of a roof. Since this plane loves to fly so much, so you need to have open space. Um, so I got this out of the Klutz book, Paper Airplane. Uh, paper Airplane book. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open that to the space cruiser. Right here. Space cruiser. Stats. Glider. Fall in difficulty for indoor. And that's what happens when you throw it. That's what they said. I don't know. Mm, whatever. So, it's a little difficult to fold, but since I folded it so many times, it's easy for me now. I'm not trying to brag about anything, so um, don't over, don't overestimate my talking, cause I'm not gonna brag. So, without any further ado, let's go make a space cruiser. Um, I have a blank piece of A4 um, paper. Um, nice day outside. So anyways, let's go, let's get to the plane. So, start with the paper, have it horizontal, like this. Just put, if I pick up, put your finger on this corner right here, and then fold it down to this corner, and the reason, and then you can know how to, where to fold down, because this line here, Will be pair will be like on this line right here. So when you fold it, it's gonna be just like that. Um, and yeah. So let me fold one of these sides. Um, I have no cameraman, so it's gonna be sort of hard, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible, so you can actually learn to um, do it really good. Okay, here's my paper now. I folded this, and this uh, paper goes along this line, as you see right there. Okay, here, let me just crease it a little more. Oh, the more you crease, the better it flies. Got a nice pointy tip. Okay. And unfold it. Oh, uh, you should have a line going down there. And then fold this corner. Do the same to the opposite side. Okay. Folding. That looks good. Uh, you have to be very precise when making this plane because if you um, screw up, uh, it could ruin the plane's performance, but not by that much. Now my plane looks like this with a fold going down right there. Then you're going to unfold. You should have an X to your paper. And then here if I flip the book over here. Turn the paper around so the X is closest to you. And then take this right here, this paper, and fold this so it's on the line here. So this point is touching that point. So that point is touching this point. Same for these other sides. I'm going to do it right now and show you what I mean. Okay. Okay, so what? that's what I mean. So, see how this tip is going right over to that tip? Um, and then that's what you do. And then you're going to flip it over. So, I got a big bump in your paper here. Put your finger in the center where all the lines meet. Put your finger there and push down and uh, two flaps will pop up um, and then you're gonna fold this little triangle here grab where this is creasing put your, right, put your uh, index right there and then fold on this line right here one easier way to do this is to just fold it just like down like straight here I'm going, I don't know if I can support this camera here. 
but maybe if I try, I'll probably do it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I got this right here. This is easier. Now I'm just gonna fold these two together. Remember, still on that line. So I wanna make kind of like a crease here, like a backwards kind of crease kind of kind of thing you would do. And then fold, and then have have both of them meet, and then crease this side and crease this side. So now you have a big thing coming up from your paper. Um, so now I have this big kind of cup thing and um, shot a little points on the tip there. But what you're gonna do is, let me, let me do this now. Uh, camera might fall down, so just don't really be scared, okay. I will take my hand over here, and I'm gonna push down, and then that's how you make your wings. So you'll be like this. So from this right here, you take your hand right here, push down, and make sure these ends are very pointy. And then you're just gonna push down, crease on this side and this side. Big old crease here on both sides. And now I should have something that looks like this. Uh, very basic. And, um, yeah, so now what you're gonna do... I got one of these. But what you're gonna do, take one of these corners. It doesn't matter, since I got a flat one. It doesn't really matter. So you can just kind of fold it up to that tip. Don't fold it too much or it'll pull this up. You just want to fold it enough that it won't pull this whole wing up like this. So I'm gonna do it right now. And fold it along this. So let me show you. Guys. From here, I fold it like this up here, and then I just crease this side right here. And uh, that seems to work fine for me. I'll um, do the same to the other side. And then that's that's um. And well, yeah, and then uh, this is this can be the tricky part. Um, once you do it, you'll get it. So, what I'm gonna do is see these little triangle things right here. I'm gonna fold this in kind of like this, and what I'm gonna do here, let me fold it first. And then show you what I did. Okay. That's what I did. So what you can do is you start out like this. You're gonna fold this along this line. So take a little put, put your uh, finger on here and then fold this and you should have a straight line just like that. Um And, and then do the and then of course do the same to the other side. Um, on airplanes, if you do something on the right side, and you always have to do it on the left side uh, to make it balanced. Okay, so if I do the same to the other side, you should have something that looks like this on the top. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Just this. Now you're gonna fold this tip. You're gonna fold that in like this. Uh, and then you're gonna crease it right along here. So let me do that real quick and show you what I'm thinking about. So you fold it like this, and now you have something like this. Now, if you don't want to do this part, you can just staple it. Oops, sorry. You can just staple it right where, right where my thumb is. Uh, but if you want to do it without, if you don't have a stapler, and you want to do it without a stapler. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift these. Okay, you're gonna lift this flap out. Don't let this part come out. Tuck that in. Same with the other side. And then fold this down. Don't crease anything. And then, let me show you. This is, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. In, the, in between the top two lines, 
you're going to tuck this point in. Let me show you what I mean. You're going to do this right here. Bend it. Tuck it in. Just like that. Uh, it might take a little, might take two tries or something like that. That's what it looks like when you tuck it in. Um, might be able to hold it to my neck. Okay. Is it a little hard? Okay. This is what you have to do if you have no cameraman. Okay, I have no clue how that turned out. But, um, yeah. So you should have them locked in like that. Uh, but you can staple it as I stated before in my video. And when now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your plane and you're going to fold this thing right here. You're going to fold it right to this kind of line here. So what I'm talking about is this. So what I did is it was like this. I folded it. So it touches that right there. And then of course, like everybody else is, do the same to this side. And then, so you should have this now, if you're doing it correctly. You should have that. Now you're gonna take the tip of this wing and fold it out to this, to this line here. So you're gonna fold it just like that. So, Okay, you're going to just do this right here. And just. Um, so I went from here, folded it out here, and then, of course, do the same to the other side. And I should have a completed space cruiser, but you have to get the wings out, so this is straight, and so is this side, so it's not angling in like that. So you gotta angle it kind of straight. And there you have it, you got a space cruiser. Um, yeah, so it's, I'm doing this in my little brother's room, because it's like ideal, because, you know, I keep all my planes here, of course keep some boats up there and it's just very very ideal got some planes up there too since I have so many planes I just keep them in here because I don't want my bedroom to be all messy like this so I use him and I pay him like 20 bucks a month so yeah and he so he could takes care of everything here and stuff like that so I should have a completed space cruiser congratulations you just made a clutch space space, uh, space cruiser uh, now, if you don't get a move right, you can replay this video, and I will show you how to do this. So, please comment, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my future videos. I will teach you how to make the new Gamora lock next. And, um, yeah, so please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my future videos. Hopefully, I'll get a cameraman or a hat cam. So, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my future videos.